have lived here over 25 years on St. George's estate. It's amazing how we all get together, we dig, we sow, we grow, we share. A multi, multicultural, multi-use garden, I think is a way of putting it. I love birds and so you know if I can provide somewhere for the birds to nest that's great. Good to, to um, you know encourage a bit of biodiversity. There's that one tr little tree there which is a kind of bird equivalent of an HMO, house of multiple occupation. Because <laughs> it's got three nests, there's a wood pigeon's nest, blue tip nest and a squirrel's nest. The squirrel's dray, dray, dray. So we managed to persuade the railway to let us take over a bit of land. It was a lot of illegal dumping had happened there, so we cleared it all. We are looking after these spaces and council gardeners and the teams do notice, oh actually this space is looked after and maybe they're just sort of picking up. We don't have to spray glyphosate absolutely everywhere. Yes, oh, you've got a wasp, you've got blue bottle in there, it's amazing yeah. to the variety. There's no reason to use it in urban areas or anywhere really. There's lots of different ways of uh, controlling weeds if you really want to control them. I think it's just a matter of educating people and say, well, you know, all these little things growing in the cracks of paving stones, you know, that's going to provide some food for a bee. Just let things grow. is really good for wildlife. It's really satisfying creating your own compost. The food recycling is also part of it. It's just really holistic thinking. The people that contribute to food aren't necessarily interested in the end product, but they're pleased that they can do something with the waste food. So they don't necessarily even use the, f the compost that's generated by all these things, and they don't use the liquid fertiliser. But it's the fact that they've contributed and they feel happy that their waste food is going to a cause rather than a bin. Good morning, John. How are you doing, sir? Good morning. Hard at work. <laughs> Good to see you, sir. Oh, they're tolerant to shade. Oh, fantastic. As you can see, I'm clearing weeds so I can sow wildflowers. the worries of the world there are things that you you cannot do anything about but creating a garden for wildlife is something you can do something about and I get a lot of jo enjoyment out of that. We're a group not really known to each other initially apart well I knew the wife that's yeah. fair to say um, <laughs> but then by the, the common desire of gardening Decided to form a group, and yeah, and yeah it's, a, it's a group of friends now. Yeah, and that's um, exactly that what it is. I think exactly what it is. Yeah. yeah. We should do more planting because we need to save our environment day by day. So, to save our environment and to save ourselves, we, should, we actually should do something with that.